we are here to help you ace your exams by going over questions with you. The resources we use are written in the description. In this video, we're going to practice with questions concerning electrolysis of molten ionic compounds. We're going to see a few examples and for each of these examples, we are going to figure out the products produced on the anode and on the cathode um, and how to write the half reaction equations, how to predict observations that we are going to see and the direction of the electron flow. Let's start with the first one, sodium chloride. I'll just draw in here the charges of the battery. Let's say that the left hand side is our positive electrode and the right hand side is negative electrode. Now remember that the positive electrodes are called the anode in electrolysis because it attracts anions. And the negatively charged electrodes are called the cathode because it attracts cations. Let's list down the ions present here. So since this is molten sodium chloride, we only have sodium ion and chloride ions. So remember, sodium ions are positive ions, so it's attracted to the negative electrode, whereas anions are attracted to the positive electrode. Uh, the reaction happening on the anode, therefore, is chloride converted to chlorine. Chlorine is Cl2. That means it's composed of two atoms of chlorine. And on the left hand side, therefore, we need two ions of chloride to balance the reaction. And then we have to balance the charges. Remember that in balancing reaction equations, the charges on the left must equal the charges on the right. So on the left here, we have a total of two minus charge. And on the right here, we have zero, and that's not balanced. And how we balance it is by adding electron to one of the sides. So in this case, if we add two electrons on the right-hand side, then we make a total of negative two charge there. This also means that chloride releases two electrons. Now, loose electron is oxidation. So this is an oxidation reaction. On the cathode, sodium ion is converted to sodium metal. And uh, the number of atoms is already balanced here, but the charge is not balanced. So to balance the charge out, add one electron on the left, and that would make a total of zero charge on the left and on the right. And if you can see here, and this side means that sodium ion gains an electron. Gain electron is reduction. Chlorine is a pale green gas. Sodium at this temperature is molten. So it's silvery color uh, metals. Right, the fourth one is the direction of the electron flow. And as you can see here, electrons are produced on the anode and used on the cathode. So the direction of the electron 
is from anode to cathode and this is always the case in, in electrolysis um, electrons are transferred from the anode to, to the cathode another example let's draw the battery the opposite way this time okay because in the exam you never know what kind of questions do you get and list down the ions remember that calcium chloride is actually CaCl2 so you are expecting more chloride in the electrolyte than calcium okay. but it doesn't matter calcium 2 plus and chloride minus so um, Chloride is attracted to the positive electrode and calcium is attracted to the negative electrode. Now the reaction happening on the negative electrode, let's call this first cathode and this one is the anode. Okay. Reaction on the cathode, calcium ion turns to calcium metal. To balance the half equation, we need to add two electrons on the left. And calcium ion gains two electrons. Gain electron means reduction. Now calcium at this point, at this temperature, is molten. On the other side, oxidation is happening. What gets oxidized? Chloride becomes chlorine. Chlorine is Cl2, two atoms, so we need two chloride ions there to balance the equation and two electrons on the right. Now, chloride releases electrons, so this is an oxidation reaction. Again, chlorine is a gas. It's pale green gas. This reaction is the reaction happening in the electrolysis in the extraction of aluminium. Let's draw in the battery. I'm again switching uh, the terminals. The left hand side is our anode and the right hand side is our cathode. Our ions are aluminum ions and oxide. So aluminum ions are attracted to the cathode which is negatively charged. Here negative and oxide oxide is attracted to the anode so let's write down our oxidation reaction that's happening on the anode oxide gives you oxygen two atoms of oxygen so you require two oxide ions and then here we have a total of four minus charge and here we have zero so we balance the charge by adding four electrons on the right oxygen is a colorless gas so you will see bubbles Now, on the other side, reduction is happening. Aluminium ion is reduced to aluminium metal. And three electrons are added on the left hand side to make the, to balance the charge. And aluminium is a silver colored metal now this 
question is a little bit different. I took this from a Singapore O-level paper, but there is a little bit of error here. So if you see the um, options for the answer, C and D are exactly the same. So we're not going to consider D. We're just going to consider A, B, and C. Right. If you want to extract metals, very reactive metals, you need to electrolyze the molten salt. So for example, potassium here is more reactive than hydrogen. So you cannot have a competition between potassium and hydrogen ions uh, because if there is hydrogen ion present, then hydrogen gas will be produced instead of the potassium that you want. So definitely for potassium chloride, you want it to be molten. Now on the other side, silver bromide is Silver is not very reactive, so it doesn't really matter if there is water present. However, silver bromide is insoluble. So if it is insoluble, it cannot be dissolved in water. And if it cannot be dissolved in water, it cannot be electrolyzed. So the only way to electrolyze silver bromide is by uh, melting it. For this question, the answer is C. That's it for today. Thank you. You did great. Leave a message if you have further questions or suggestions. Please like, subscribe, and share if this video has been useful to you. Thank you.